the only non-invasive method of a confirmed diagnosis, of making a confirmed diagnosis without the need for biopsy is a nuclear technique. And that ability has transformed uh, the field of, of cardiac amyloidosis. So amyloidosis um, is an old disease. We've known about it for a long time. And the technetium pyrophosphate scan, which is a bone scan that today we use to, to diagnose ATTR amyloidosis, has also been around for a long time. But what I tell everybody is that the planets are aligned for the field of amyloidosis. With the recognition that technetium pyrophosphate imaging has an exceptionally high diagnostic accuracy, we now have the ability to make a non-invasive diagnosis of cardiac amyloidosis. Even five years ago, most people diagnosed with amyloid would have undergone a cardiac biopsy. Today, you can do that with a high degree of confidence without a cardiac biopsy. And this ability to make a non-invasive diagnosis has resulted in the recognition of a high prevalence of this disease that we didn't realize. Today, data suggests that maybe 10% of everybody with heart failure and a preserved ejection fraction have wild-type amyloidosis. That's a staggering number, right? So we have this ability to make a diagnosis easily. We realize that there is a much higher prevalence of disease uh, than initially thought. And most importantly, there are new drugs coming up, right? So there's therapeutic hope in this field where there was therapeutic nihilism until recently. And so you see how the planets are completely aligned. Uh, and uh, as an organization, I think um, the American Society of Nuclear Cardiology is uniquely placed to improve uh, the general awareness of amyloidosis and standardize methods to, to diagnose the disease. Uh, more and more centers are uh, starting PYP programs. Uh, we have published practice points in PYP. Um, the um, ASNIC leadership is involved in groundbreaking research in the field of amyloidosis. Uh, we, are, um, we are undertaking um, we're undertaking many initiatives to, to standardize the practice of PYP. We're very, very interested in uh, quality control, uh, teaching people how to do good quality PYP scans and interpreting it.